Hey, what's up? It's Matt in Japan, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm bringing you something very, very special from the collaborative team at Hasbro. We have Transformers, More Than Meets the Eye, Decepticon, Megatron, His Tank with Baroness. This thing is so cool. I can't get over it. I'm uh, hardly contain myself here. But anyway, let's take a look at the artwork, which is absolutely fabulous. You see Megatron in his robot mode, looking evil as ever. And there you see Baroness on the right side of the G.I. Joe, Joe portion of the packaging. The artwork is just amazing. Such a great throwback to the 80s. And the fact that this collaborative even exists is just just awesome. Um, yeah, just super excited. So anyways, there is the front of the packaging. And you do see the sort of uh, image of Baroness. That's actually just a, a picture, not actually the real figure. So anyways, let's take a look at the other parts of the box. There's a lot of sort of similar images on this box, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. On the top here, you do see Megatron in his robot mode with Baroness and his tank. On the right side, you see Megatron, his tank, G.I. Joe logo, Hasbro. On the bottom, you have the G.I. Joe Hasbro Transformers Collaborative, more than meets the eye. So you see the sort of uh, G.I. Joe explosion there with the Transformers Red and the Autobot logo there. So you have some product info there. And on this side, you see basically more of the same thing. You see Megatron in the His Tank there. And then on this side, you have just a solo image of Baroness in the His Tank, Megatron His Tank, G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Getting total flashbacks from the 80s there on the Hasbro logo as well. Now on the back, it's some product information on the bottom. Now on the back, let's just get this guy. This is a, this is a huge box. Um, so it's actually taking up all my workstation here. But anyways, this is how it looks on the back of the packaging. You have the G.I. Joe logo upper left, Transformers in the upper right, collaborative logo, and he converts in 28 steps to the His Tank mode. And there you see Megatron and Baroness there on the right side, looking evil as ever. Such a cool collaborative, collaborative toy here and uh, super excited to get this guy open. So without further ado, let's do just that and see what these guys are all about. All right, so it's time to open the Transformers G.I. Joe crossover Decepticon Megatron His Tank here. And one thing to know, when you, if you guys pick this up, um, there is a sticker. There's there about four stickers that seal the box. There's one here, there's two on either side, and there's one in the back. Uh, actually, I tried to peel the sticker off, and it just it's just going to leave that kind of sticky residue. So I recommend just cutting it with a box cutter. It's going to be a lot easier, and uh, it won't leave any sticky you know, residue on the box. So uh, anyways, it's ready to be opened. And basically these two sides just pop out on either side like this. So we're gonna take out this side, take off the Megatron side, and then we're gonna take off the G.I. Joe side. And that is what the box looks like when you take off the cover. You get a huge Hasbro logo there. On the top, you get G.I. Joe 2022 Megatron His Tank with the Autobot logo there. On the bottom, you get G.I. Joe, much of the same. And there is nothing on either side. And on the back, it says Top Secret. That's very cool. You get the G.I. Joe mark, get the Cobra mark there. And it says, Surveillance has detected spies scouting Cobra base. Unauthorized vehicle is identified as Subject B. Be prepared to intercept. Their sting is sharp, but we are poised to strike. So cool, so cool. So anyways, that is how the box looks once you take the cover off. And also, it is not taped here, so we're just gonna open up the box. And let's see here. Yeah, it's just two flaps that open up like so. And here's what you get inside the box. So taking it out, a very brown box here. So this is what you get on the top. So you see Megatron, how he comes packaged with the His Tank there. You have all the parts there. And I'm just gonna take this guy out. And I'm assuming that the Baroness figure is underneath all this. So we're going to just lift this up. And it's all done. You know, it's all tied in with twist ties. So we're going to take that out and get rid of some of this extra space here. And yes, we did find the Baroness on the card inside the box. Let's just stand her up there. And then, of course, you get your instruction. So that is what comes in the box. And let's take a quick pause and we'll take a look at all the components here. All right, so I've taken everything out of the box. We've got all those accessories and its components situated. And before we get into the details here, uh, just first impressions. This guy is massive. I guess I wasn't expecting this figure to be so big. Um, just getting Baroness off to the side there, bringing in Earthrise uh, Megatron for a just quick size comparison. That is how he looks next to Earthrise Megatron. So 
I was like, yeah, I guess I wasn't expecting it to be so big. But anyways, this, this guy's massive. He looks really cool. Uh, really excited to get into the details. But before we do, let's take a look at Baroness on the card here. I almost hate to open her up. God, it's so cool just to have like a, a retro G.I. Joe in packaging. So there you see the G.I. Joe logo, Cobra Enemy, Baroness. Just total 80s vibe here and on. And that's so cool. Love all the detail. It's just like... Super nostalgic for me right now. I did used to collect G.I. Joe's, but um, you know, just seeing this on card and in the packaging is so cool. And then on the back, you get her um, her stats and all that, Baroness, Cobra. I'm not gonna read all of it, but if you wanna pause, you can read it. And it does come in different languages. And there you see a picture of Baroness and the His Tank there. The same image we saw on the box. But yeah, looking so cool, wow. Um, Again, I almost hate to open her up, but of course I have to. Of course I have to. Uh, anyways, let's put her there. Let's take a look at some of the accessories this guy comes with. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at his fusion cannon. His fusion cannon is done in just a really sort of a uh, little bit of shiny gloss finish here. Just a black plastic. It's actually pretty hollow inside. Um, and it's actually a gray, a gray plastic painted black. And you get a little bit of detail here. Not a whole lot of detail, but... It is what it is. You get a little bit of detail on the end there. So it's not it's not bad. So there's a little peg there, and there's actually, it's a little bit hard to see at first, uh, but on the other side of his, uh, on the top of his, his uh, fist, I guess, there's a small port right there, which is, again, very difficult to see. I didn't see it at first, and that can just plug in right there. So he does have his fusing cannon. So let's put that on there like that. And then, um, let's see here, he does come with this sort of shield, um, it does have the Cobra symbol there, and it's, again, done that really glossy black finish. And on the back, you do get some very cool detail there on the inside. Um, and actually, he kind of holds this like this, so there's a, a peg here. And again, that same sort of port on the fist here. If you get up close, there's... It's, again, it's really hard to see. I totally missed it at first, but that just plugs in like so. And the, the Cobra mark is kind of upside down in the in the robot mode, but it's not not a big deal. Um, and then, so it's going to put Megatron like that. So he's got his fusion cannon, he's got the shield. And then two other accessories he does come with are these little sort of, uh, I don't know what these are, these little, uh, ro you know, rocket launchers or whatever. And again, they're done that same sort of glossy plastic. And they do have a nice, this little detail there, sculpted detail. They're very long and he comes with two of those. And, uh, those actually plug in on the side here. Um, this come, this is a separate piece. The top of the his tank is a separate piece. So let's just take a quick look at this. You get some nice clear plastic for the windshield and you get a 363 mark there, 363. And then you get the nice Cobra symbol there. Again, done in that sort of really nice glossy black. And you get another Cobra symbol there. And on the other side, same thing, 363. And then you have GH7C on that side and on both sides as well. So yeah, you get some nice molded detail. Now, again, this comes separately. Um, basically what you wanna do is, I'm not gonna do this on camera, but there are two uh, slots right here. And basically if you turn Megatron around, um, you're gonna see a little space right here, here and here. So these two will just fit onto there. And actually this big, uh, the well in here for Baroness is gonna fit into the cavity in the back of Megatron. So I will get that ready to go and we'll show that off in just a moment. Okay, so I attached the back of the His Tank onto the back of Megatron there. And let's take a quick look at that. And uh, like I said, it just clips on the back there and then you can put his little rocket launchers on either side. Um, now, what I was talking about was I, I thought this, for some reason, I thought this kind of folded down. And so this, you know, cockpit, I think that's for transformation that the well of that goes in the back of the, uh, in the back of Megatron. But for robot mode, it just kind of sticks out the back. So um, there is a huge honking backpack and it looks a little bit silly from the side. That's how it looks from the side. Um, but from the front, it doesn't look too bad. And I actually like the way it looks from the front. Um, I will say one thing, this guy's a little bit loose out of the packaging and uh, these tabs have a very hard time uh, tabbing in. I, I, I fixed them probably two or three times already. Um, th these are very difficult. And I think there's just so much going on with this guy. Um, I, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not going to give you my thoughts until until the end but uh for now there this i'm having an awful time getting these to stay in and he, he feels just a little bit loose um but again probably you know you could do some easy fixes for that anyways uh that being said this guy just looks awesome so just putting him off the side let's take a quick look at baroness um it, just the, the sheer mass and size of this guy is just so cool and uh very very nice anyways here we go here's baroness on her little stand here and Wow, yeah, it's uh, it's probably been 
God, I don't know how many years. It's been 40 years probably since I held a G.I. Joe figure like this. Um, but anyways, there is Baroness, a very cool head sculpt, very Baroness. She's got her glasses there, the red lipstick, the cobra symbol, and holding her rifle there with the scope. And yeah, it's very cool, very cool. And then she's got her little backpack with the cobra symbol. That is a very nice touch. And you get the printed, the date on there, just like the old school Joe figures. And of course, you can take her off the stand and let's kind of get her in a, whoa. Um, yeah, hopefully she holds her gun. Yeah, there we go. She's holding her gun like that. And of course, she can fit in the back of Megatron. So you can just basically put her up here. So she's like manning the, you know, manning the missiles. She's got her gun and she's manning the missiles. So just a quick, just kind of fold his legs. I mean, this guy is so massive. It's kind of hard getting this guy on camera. But there is Baroness there. Manning the uh, the guns in the back of Megatron, so very cool. Let's see if I can get a, a better shot of this. And let's just try and pull this back a little bit here. Um, again, my workstation is only so, uh, so, only so big here. So again, I was not expecting this guy to be so big, but there is Megatron and Baroness looking very, very cool. I do apologize, I have this guy a little bit mistransformed here. Um, I forgot to put these parts down here. Um, if you just take this off, these were kind of up like this. And they're really actually in the way, so you basically just fold those down. That's how he came in the box. He's kind of scrunched up in the box. But basically, you want to take those uh, missile launchers down there and put them like that. So, again, I apologize for that. Um, and this is kind of what I was talking about. There is that tab there, and um, it's having a really hard time staying in. It's a little bit better once you kind of strip him down. I did take all his sort of components off. I did take the piece off the back because uh, I just think it's easier to look at uh, with all those components off. So, let's take a quick look at his details here. So there you see the head sculpt. The head sculpt is absolutely incredible. It is very G1 Megatron and just probably one of the best Megatron head sculpts we've seen in a while. I just really love the way that looks. Down on the either side of the shoulders, you get some really nice red paint for some little missiles there. You get the nice crisp Decepticon logo there. And you get some blue and red paint on the chest there. Some nice molded detail. You get a nice yellow belt there. Some other details there. And again, like I just showed you here, you have these sort of missile launchers, missile pods on the on the side here. You get some nice red paint on either side of that. Going down the figure, not much else. It just has some variations of gray and black plastic. And not a whole lot. A little bit of sculpted detail there. You see the tank treads, obviously, on the side there. You see the 788. You can see the components of the His tank. And he's very hollow. Again, like I mentioned, that part goes in the, that center there. And that's how he looks from the back. So all in all, a very cool, very big Megatron. God, I haven't, I haven't, I think I've had a figure this big for a while. So anyways, getting into articulation. His articulation for his head. His head is on a ball joint. It can go up and down. It can go a little bit of side to side. And it can go all the way around like so. And actually, uh, yeah, very, uh, some nice expression on his head. So you get some nice movement there. Now his arms are on a uh, hinge joint here. So you can get full movement on the arms. You get full rotation there. And, and again, if you try and take his arms and put them out, um, that hinge is going to come undone. So um, basically what you want to do is try and hold that hinge. And you can put his arms out a little bit. It does get hindered by all the his tank parts. Um, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But again... Um, he, he does have pretty good arm rotation and articulation there. He does have a, um, a bicep, um, actually, no, sorry, an elbow swivel there. And he has about 90 degree on the elbow. And there is nothing at the hands. The hands are just molded into this piece here. So that's about it for the arms. Again, that piece coming off. So let's just take his arms. I might have to tighten up those those joints there, uh, tighten up that tab there. So just getting his arms off to the side. Um, there is absolutely no waist swivel. As you can see, this is just a very hollow piece. This is actually very thin right here. So there's, there's actually no way they could have done a waist swivel on this guy. And then um, just taking these sort of flaps out here, putting those to the side. And he has, he has a full, he can do the full splits here. And he has some nice... Uh, he has some rotation on the leg. And actually, this was kind of, it came out of the box like this. So just be careful you guys get this. Um, there is rotation here, but God, as soon as I, as soon as I uh, do the rotation there, that comes off. If you really put it in tight, it's actually really nice and tight. So you do get some swivel on that part there. And there is no other uh, articulation on the leg. Um, there is a little bit of a knee bend, and it's actually really tight. But you're not going to get much more than, well, Actually, no, I, I apologize. <laughs> because of transformation, you do get a pretty neat, deep knee bend there. It's actually really tight. So, um, And then our uh, 
foot articulation again for transformation it just goes in and out like so there's no ankle pivot or anything like that so um a little bit limited in his uh movement and articulation but not so bad i mean for a figure this big you um he's actually pretty poseable so i would say it's enough um for what it is so anyways yeah let's pause and look at his his tank alt mode all right, so here we have Megatron His Tank transformed into his alt mode, which is the His Tank, and looking very, very cool. I will say one thing, the instructions were a little bit unclear. There are some kind of vague parts in there that I didn't quite understand, didn't quite know how to fold things up, tap things in. Uh, but I, I, I got the hang of it and uh, finally got him into his super cool alt mode. So let's take a look at his details here. So all done in just a very cool sort of shiny um, plastic there. You see the Cobra symbol there. You know, you did see a little bit of this in robot mode. You see the big 788 there on the side. A little bit of a red and white detail under there. The tank treads look very, very cool. You do have some, uh, some lettering there with a V there. Not sure what that is supposed to symbolize, but I really love the sculpt work on the tank treads. Looking very, very cool. Again, you see the parts that were in uh, robot mode. And I think part of this is very ingenious, uh, actually, because it uh if you i'm just gonna take this off for a sec the the accessory that was his shield um basically you just see megatron hanging out in the back and i think you know they could have just left this and uh it would have just looked awful but um the fact that this part kind of flips up and doubles as a trailer hitch was very very cool but also the fact that they took this piece and you can just hide that whole robot mode torso is just actually very very cool so again you see the cobra mark all over the place on the back on the side and the side just pretty much the same here and here it is from the front you get a little bit of detail on the front there which is very nice and um yeah the um the only one thing is uh this this part where it tabs into the tank treads here it's a little bit tricky to get in it's basically just one of those things where you know all transformers know just kind of squeeze everything together and everything works out but for the most part very very cool now this turret on top does rotate 360 degrees so you can have some you know some full rotation there you get a nice cobra mark there as well so it's going to turn this over there and let's take a look at the cockpit and very surprisingly, they did put some nice molded detail inside the cockpit. So let's take our Baroness figure and let's configure her in the go cockpit. So you can just basically, you know, have her sitting inside the cockpit like so. And she just kind of squashes in there. And this is able to close like that. So you can have her driving the his tank, which is very cool. Another thing you can do, you can take her out. And of course, like we saw in robot mode, it's going to turn these around here. In bot mode, you can have her manning this little, you can have her kind of manning these guns here. So fighting down the Joes, which is very cool. Really love that look. Or, um, you know, because she has the uh, holes on her feet, there are two pegs on the back of the his tank that you can very well, whoa. Yeah, you gotta be very careful. So actually, I'm gonna put this down. Um, this part does come off a little bit easily. Um, so you kind of have to hold that together and there are pegs on her feet where you can have her, they don't, they don't stay in very well, but, um, yeah, they really don't stay in very well. So actually holding that in there and just getting one peg in there. So you can't have her, you know, kind of hanging out on the back there. Not sure really why you would have her hanging out in the back there, but that's something you can do. Um, I think I like her up top here the most. So we're going to put her back in there. Kind of manning those those guns there. Um, now, one last accessory is the fusion cannon. There's a couple different things you can do with the fusion cannon. There's a peg there and a port up top. Um, once you put it in there, it kind of blinds uh, Baroness. It's kind of like, you know, I don't know. It would be cool if there was like a little sticker right here. I think that would have been a really nice inclusion if they made like a little scope or a little like viewfinder there. So she can kind of look and blast the the the, uh, the fusion cannon. That would have been cool. As it is now, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, that's definitely weapon storage. Um, but I think it kind of takes away from the look of it. Um, there is one thing you can do. Again, um, you can sort of take the uh, trailer hitch down and you can sort of store it under here. I don't think this is... I don't think this is an official transformation by any means, but um, there is a kind of weapon, semi-weapon storage there. And it's actually, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look too bad. So that's one thing you can do. Um, I actually prefer, I, I kind of like the look of it without the fusion cannon, but it's not actually bad with it either. So I'm just taking that off, putting the trailer hitch up like that. And let's just put the trailer, I mean, sorry, the fusion cannon back on like so. So there you go. And actually this thing, yeah, again, that back piece, 
That back piece really does come undone very easily. I wish that was a little bit tighter. Anyways, um, and she rolls very nicely, as you can tell. So I'm um, just doing some size comparisons here. So we got the his tank. Let's see if I can let's see if I can get all these guys in here. Just gonna pull the camera back just a little bit. So we got the his tank there. I'm gonna bring in Earthrise Megatron in his tank mode there. So that's kind of how they scale there. So it's actually this his tank is quite massive. And we'll bring in the little rinky dinky uh, core class from Megatron in his tank mode there. And that is how they scale. See if I can get these guys all in the cat in the shot there on the camera. There they are. So kind of the uh, Megatron tank modes there. So you can just tell the scale here. This guy is actually massive. So I'm taking these guys away. And uh, yeah, I, I you know just looking at this guy, this is really cool. Just really nostalgic for me. You know, growing up with Transformers and GI Joe, this is such a a great crossover to have here. And um, actually, they did a really good job of hiding all the parts. I mean, you wouldn't really even know this is a Transformer so much. Um, even even from here, it's like, you know, obviously you can kind of tell it's his feet and things, but I think they did a really bang up job hiding everything, especially with this back piece there. So anyways, they did a great job and let's pause and we'll give you some final thoughts. So some final thoughts for the Transformers G.I. Joe crossover, Megatron, his tank. Um, this guy is awesome. I definitely think where this figure shines is it's his tank and you can tell the designers just did a really bang up job They definitely had priority for the his tank to look like it does and not so much for the robot mode The robot mode is okay. It is actually nice having a pretty large-scale uh, Megatron in the collection um, I just think the robot mode is a little bit clumsy um, Just having all those parts kind of hanging off him just kinda looks a little bit clunky and a little bit difficult to pose. I do love the head sculpt on the on the robot mode, but definitely where this thing shines is it's his tank alt mode. And the fact that we get the added bonus of the Baroness figure, just wow, just you know, sends me straight back to the 80s of me setting up my Joes and and uh, my Transformers and stuff, and uh, just pure nostalgia for me right now. So if you guys are a GI Joe fan, Transformers fan, this is an absolute no brainer. Uh, definitely go out and pick this up. You're not going to be disappointed. So anyways, thanks for watching. This has been Matt in Japan for the Transformers G.I. Joe crossover. Megatron, his tank. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Yo, Joe!